Welcome to a video tour of the Bay Path construction project. This video will cover the frontal shell of the building, which was created in just two weeks by the builders in the month of March. Let's start in the obvious spot. On our right, we can see workers placing tiles onto the ground. These are the tiles that you'll see once you walk onto the floors of the building, hopefully next school year. The ceiling has a coat of fire-resistant material. This is mainly for electrical fire. These things on the ground are PCP pipes. These will be used once the first floor plumbing system begins to develop. Once we move on to the second floor, you'll see a much more developed plumbing system. These wires on the ceiling are coated in a very thick, yellow rubber to keep any electrical accidents from happening. These wires flow throughout the first and second floors to power the workers' equipment as well as lighting, as well as the sky's light show. Features of the addition to the first floor include seven new rooms, three of which are going to be dedicated to shops, a new student and a new civilian entrance, allowing students to enter in through one entrance and civilians to enter in through the other entrance. Now we'll see a very nostalgic piece. By the way, we're getting a new sign. On the second floor, we can see that the plumbing system has been developing pretty fast. All over the ceiling, the piping has been tweaked and is being put together as we speak. This will connect to the plumbing on the first floor as well as the rest of the school once it's completed. Two new bathrooms are also being installed on this floor. In addition to the plumbing, the HVAC work is also being done, with the ventilation system stretching across the ceiling. This will also be connected to the first floor's HVAC. New features of the addition to the second floor include a new Bay Path sign, as mentioned previously, two new bathrooms, and six new rooms dedicated to academics. The addition of the school will also include a new roof, obviously, but this one will be much different than the current one. If you've ever been on the ground near the school and noticed the stones up on the roof of the school from the ground, those are there for a few reasons. One is for runoff when it rains so that too much water doesn't go onto the roof. And the second reason is for other weather related problems such as too much sunlight. The new roof, however, will contain a new weather resistant material on top that will replace the job of the rocks. The white material laid down on the roof is for the builders to allow them to work more easily in these conditions. It is also very weather resistant. The estimated completion date is August 22nd, 2014, about the time students will return to school. Everyone was surprised to see the construction going on when they arrived at the school this year, and I'm sure we'll see that again next school year once this project is completed. Thank you very much for watching, and look forward for possible updates on the construction project in the future. This guy's still here.